Meantime, here to discuss the issue further, Deputy Mayor of Jerusalem, Flor Hassan Nahum. Thank you so much for being with us. Now, what, what's going on? Well, what we see here is a combination of tensions for different reasons. We've got a very fraught political situation at the moment, uh, a lot of insecurity. Nobody knows what's going to happen. We have a dynamic change. All of a sudden, Arab parties are being seriously considered by all parts of the political spectrum as partners in government. And I think that kind of unsettles uh, certain people. We have young people who, for some reason, and this is something that saddens me, incredibly saddens me, social media, instead of becoming a tool for good, a tool for connection, is being used as a tool for violence. Um, and it's popular. Um, and that, to me, is very, very worrying. And of course, we unequivocally condemn violence on both sides. Both Arabs and Jews are residents of Jerusalem, and they all deserve safety and protection. And this is what we're very working very hard to do in Jerusalem. So, so again, I have to follow up. Is, is Jerusalem and Tel Aviv's multicultural respect on a downward spiral, or is it being blown out of proportion by the media? What have you personal, personally seen on the ground when talking to civilians or dealing with the situation? Look, ultimately, there are clashes, there are clashes. That's what's actually going on, and the media is reporting what's going on. But I also see the wonderful side of all sorts of partnerships on a day-to-day. -day. In Jerusalem, you know, almost 40% of our population are Arabs. Uh, I work in City Hall. We have 11,000 City Hall workers, a few good thousand uh, Arab colleagues that we work with every day. We run social, uh, civil society initiatives. We run cultural initiatives. We run business initiatives. I see the good side. And then, of course, I see, uh, I, I see also the violent side, mainly from TV. But, you know, I have more of a balanced view. And I see that, for example, during the corona times, when we had a common enemy, we banded together, we set up volunteer forces together, and those relationships that we created a year ago during the corona are relationships that are still going strong. So yes, we have a rise in violence, and maybe because it's of the Ramadan, the elections, and so many of these moving pieces. But on the other hand, I also see something else. I see that we're also slowly going through our own Abraham Accords internal process here in Israel, and we can't ignore that. All right, so just I'll give you another minute. Maybe could you expand a little bit about some of the, some of the programs currently in the works to restore calm and, and unity? So ultimately, the way that we've been working uh, with East Jerusalem is not from a top-down approach. It's always from, let's find the local leaders, let's find the local influences, whether they be religious or be civil society leaders, and let's work with them because they know their communities better than us. This non-paternalistic uh, way of dealing with East Jerusalem has borne incredible fruit. You know, this is why I can't help but be optimistic, even though we have these horrible clashes. Three weeks ago, we opened up the first ever youth center in uh, the neighborhood of Shuafat in East Jerusalem, with the mayor of Jerusalem going there and opening up and uh, creating a way of bringing much more resources for the young people of East Jerusalem. So these are the things I'm seeing. I'm seeing more than ever uh, young Arab engineers in the colleges and universities of Jerusalem. I'm seeing more Arabs in high tech in Jerusalem. And not only I'm seeing it, we're pushing forward programs in order to ensure in integration, also cultural, and also professional. And so I can't help but be optimistic. And of course, we have to have a very, very firm hand with the troublemakers and the violence. Remember, these are the extremes. These are not the mainstream. Let not, let's not judge the good people of East Jerusalem and the Jews of Jerusalem in the eyes or with the lens of the extreme, the extremist troublemakers. All right. And with that, thank you so much for joining us, Deputy Mayor Flora Hassan Nahum. <laughs>